Alright, so I'm going to start off with a story. See, I'm going to tell you how I met one of my homeboys. This is back in the day. This is back in the day. This is like over 20 years ago. We get in the trap house. I'm with my other homeboy. He introduced me to this dude. This dude looking dusty. He got like, it was like rope extension cord. Something holding his pants up. Like, he looking a hot mess. Boy, look a hot mess. And he a little nigga. He a, like, he, he short. Like, he ain't like a big dude. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn near double the dude's size. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I ain't just big, big, but like, I look like I probably should play football or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm decent size. And this 20 years ago, I'm a little more cocky. I'm, I'm kind of an asshole. So, I started cracking jokes on, nigga, why, why you got a uh, rope hold, holding up your pants? Like, hmm, hmm. See, but I ain't know him. He ain't know me. But I guess he wasn't really feeling what I had to say. But I ain't know him, and he ain't know me. And I ain't know, do, you, you, see, you see how things go? But see, my homeboy, he was like, he brought up, uh, you know, Mr. Such and Such. So then, like, the whole conversation changed to Mr. Such and Such at the shop. And we like, yeah, that's, that's my guy. That, that. So then the dude, the now, he, he over there hot. He mad. He mad. Like, I don't know the nigga a killer, but he, he, he mad. He like, you know Such and Such? I'm like, yeah, that's my homeboy. Like, I be taking all my cars over there. He, he grew up with my daddy. You like, who you did? Then we, well, then we started talking. See, but the man at the shop, that's his daddy. So his daddy, my daddy, homeboys. We just ain't never met each other. But it was about to be a real nigga moment till that came into play. Now, here's where I'm going with this. Sometimes. It'd be like a little interjection come in. That little interjection to change everything. See, I was in bed asleep last night. I went to sleep, but I was in bed. So a message come up. I watched the video. I'm like, hmm. The devil show do be working. See, I don't be being nosy. I just been trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my own situation. I ain't been, been trying to figure out nobody else's situation too tough. I know nosy people, but I ain't been dealing with none of the nosy folks here lately. I ain't been dealing with them. Because, like, Max's Max cousin now, she knows it now. So. But the spirit came upon me to be nosy. See, I ain't normally nosy, but I was nosy. See? So then, after I was nosy, I saw some inconsistent, uh, inconsistency. So then, something told me to go check on the inconsistency. But so I had to go, I had to pray. I had to pray first. I had to pray first. I had to ask for strength and spirit. See, because I'm used to fighting one way. But that just see, like, I, I, I already done. Folk been telling me from the get go, like, you fight me the wrong way anyway. So, like, uh, see, I done figured out how, you know, thanks to some other people, I done figured out how to fight it the right way. So I went to go and fight it the right way. See, I, ain't, I, I wanted to hear some biblical, you know, hit you know, yeah, I ain't, I ain't get biblical with it, but you know, they, they saw my glory, they saw my glory, see, cause, uh, the old me, it would've been a problem, it would've been a traumatizing situation for somebody at the end of the day, and we, we just gonna say it didn't go that far, it didn't go that far, you know, I, I had to go and test the spirit, I prayed about it before I did it. But, see, the old me would just been offended from the get-go and wouldn't, wouldn't have saw no, no good in the situation. But, see, the new me, the new me, the new me was coming to test the spirit. He, was, he, wasn't, he wasn't testing the what well, you see in the natural. So he was testing the spirit, and he was surprised at what he saw. Now, he ain't saying everything went good. What I'm saying is, 
I was really surprised that uh, it looked like that spirit gone off somebody. Not not to say that they wasn't questionable themselves, but they did better than they normally do in these type of situations. And I did normally better than I normally do. I don't feel like I really just too much disrespected nobody too tough like how I would normally do. I you know I ain't I ain't try to lay hands upon nobody in the wrong kind of way. You know I ain't. I And it's just like when they when everybody saw me, it's like they knew. They knew. See, I'm I'm a, I'm probably gonna put some uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna end this one right here, and then yeah, I'm like another video by the end of the day. Mark three eleven. Whenever the impure spirits saw him, they fell down before him and cried out, "You are the Son of God." See, that's how I was feeling last night. That's how I was feeling. I, I mean. I ain't saying I'm Jesus Christ. Now, that's pushing it. But I'm, I'm saying I am a child of God. And I'm saying uh, that's how I approach the situation as a child of God. All right. Yep. I couldn't leave it right there either. Couldn't leave it right there. So let me tell you about the python spirit. See? See, it's a snake. See, let me tell you about snakes. See, all snakes, snakes just got two things going for them. They only got two things going for them. And it's really just one. See? A snake is sneaky. But see, people scared of snakes, though, too, though. It, it, see, they sneaky and they got fear. Them are the two things they got working for them. Me and sneaky and, and, you know, people fearing them. But see, the thing is, I'm a man. See, I got two feet and two arms. See, snakes ain't got feet and arms. See, back in, you know, my homeboy in the country, see, I, I, don't, I don't mess with snakes like that. But see... What he do is, it don't matter what kind of snake it is, it can be a poisonous snake. So you just got, you got to time it right and pick it at the right place. See, so you pick that snake up by his tail, and you sling it up against a tree, up against a brick wall. You, you hit his head up against something hard. Once you hit, once, once you break that motherfucker head, boy, it's over with. It's over with. 